Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to another video. Please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and hit the notification bell so you will be updated on all my future content. So this video, again, is going to focus on two-digit by two-digit multiplication, but different method than my last live stream. I'm going to show you how to solve two-digit by two-digit multiplication problems using the Latisse method. So our first example problem is 72 times 48. So I have my Latisse method model here, and I have a box for each digit. So we have two top boxes for the numbers 72. So the digits 72, 7, and 2. And it looks like I'm going to need to change um, erasable markers because it looks like this one is gone. All right. So we have seven, two going along the top, four, eight going along the side. And we're now gonna solve this problem. We're gonna solve the problem using the Latisse method. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna multiply digit by digit our answers go in the squares and each digit within our answers go in a separate triangle. So starting in this column here, two times four, two times four equals eight. So we're gonna put an eight in the bottom triangle and a zero in the top triangle. Next, we're gonna multiply two times eight. Two times eight equals 16. So the, the 16 will go in the square here. We're gonna put a one in the top triangle and a six in the bottom triangle. Next, we're gonna multiply seven times four. That answer is gonna go in this square. Seven times four equals 28, two in the top triangle, eight in the bottom triangle. Next, we're gonna multiply seven times eight. The answer to seven times eight is gonna go in this square, five in the top triangle, six in the bottom triangle. Seven times eight is 56. 7 times 8 equals 56, 5 in the top triangle, 6 in the bottom triangle. Next, we are going to add the numbers going diagonally across. So looking at this diagonal line, we're adding all the numbers that are inside the square. So along this diagonal line, the only number we have is 6. So we're going to have a 6 in the ones place. Now in between these two diagonal lines, we have to add 8 plus 1 plus 6. That's going to be the digit that represents the tens place. If our sum is more than 10, we will need to regroup. So 8 plus 1 is 9, plus 6 is 15, so we're going to regroup. So the 5 and 15 goes in the tens place. The 1 gets carried over. And we are adding the numbers that are in between these diagonal lines together to represent the hundreds place. And again, if our sum is more than 10, we will regroup. So 1 plus 0 equals 1, plus 8 equals 9, plus 5 equals 14. So we're going to need to regroup here. The 4 and 14 goes in the hundreds place. The 1 and 14 gets carried over to the thousands place. 1 plus 2 equals 3. Um, I do teach 5th graders. Um, my grades are 3rd, 4th, and 5th. So I teach 3rd, 4th, and 5th graders. Alright, and now we have our final answer. And we are going to read um, the answer from left to right. So we have a 3 in the thousands place, a 4 in the hundreds place, a 5 in the tens place, and a 6 in the ones place. So our answer is 3,456. So 72 times 48 equals 3,456.